Pastora Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you do it with Pastora? Can we say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God? Great job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. Now, can I see your prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. Happy day, happy day. 
give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. Hi kids. I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pets. And once you have them all with you, can you help a star remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, Mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to 1 Kings chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Now, kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to 1 Kings chapter 2, verses 1 to 4? And let's read. When David's time to die drew near, he commanded Solomon his son, saying, I am about to go the way of all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in his ways and keeping his statutes, his commandments, his rules, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn, that the Lord may establish his word that he spoke concerning me, saying, If your sons pay close attention to their way to walk before me in faithfulness with all their heart and with all their soul, you shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right, kids? We have seen that David instructed his son Solomon to be strong and to live in obedience to the commands of God. Kids, did you know? What? David gave these good and godly instructions to Solomon so he can live a blessed and a successful life. Just like today, kids, when our parents give us instructions, we need to always... Listen to them. You know why? Because they only want the best and good for us. Now, kids, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, listen to my parents' instructions? Can we do it again? Can we say, listen to my parents' instructions? Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, listen to my parents' instructions? Very good, kids. Now, I know you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So, please get your notebooks and, of course, your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back to Children's Church, we can give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So, are you ready? Great! So, now let's go to our question number one. Who gave good and godly instructions to Solomon? Who gave good and godly instructions to Solomon? Done, kids? Very good. Now, let's go to our question number two. True or false? I must listen to my parents' instructions. True or false, I must listen to my parents' instructions. Done, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blank. Blank. To my parents' instructions. Blank to my parents' instructions. Done, kids? Good job! Now let's go to our question number four, which is, of course, our application for today. Kids, 
Proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 tells us this, My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. So always remember, kids, that God has given us our parents so they can help us to have a blessed and successful life. So let's always listen to mommy and daddy, okay? So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, kids. And I hope you learn a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Hey, kids! It's time to worship the Lord some more. So let's all stand up. One, two, three. Yeah, and let's worship the Lord because today is a happy day.
where you will learn tips on how to be good kids because Jesus wants you to be good. And all the good kids say, Amen! Amen! Today, we will learn a tip about being good kids from our Bible story. Yay! And here's our good kid tip for today. Good kids listen to their parents. In our Bible story, we learn that we should always listen to our parents because God gave them wisdom to teach us the right things. Like King David who shared his godly wisdom to King Solomon, our parents also share their godly wisdom by teaching and guiding us. Therefore, if you want to become good kids full of godly wisdom, you should always listen to your parents. Like how King Solomon listened to his father, King David. So today, let's learn how to be good kids like King Solomon and watch our friends teach us about listening and obeying our parents. when their parents were teaching them about many things. But did you notice, they were not only listening, but they are paying attention because they wanted to obey their parents' teachings. This reminds me of what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1, verses 8 to 9, that we should always listen and remember the teachings of our father and mother. And when we do this, their teachings will crown us with grace and be a chain of honor around our neck. Isn't that amazing? Amazing! It means that when we listen and obey our parents, we will become good kids because their teachings are always for our own good. So, who among you wants to be crowned with grace and have a chain of honor around their neck? Me too! Then always remember to listen and obey your parents like what God commands us in Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. I hope you learned a lot from our good kid tip today. Remember, God wants you to be good so you can praise your Father in heaven. See you again next time! Today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, A Heart Like That. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three. Very good. We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics, You found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful. God, I want a heart like that. Ready? Yes! Five, six, seven, you found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful. God, I want a heart like that. One more time. Five, six, seven, you found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful. God, I want a heart like that. The same steps goes with the lyrics, strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. Ready? Yes! Five, six, seven, and strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. Let's do it from the top. Five, six, seven, you found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful. God, I want a heart like that. Strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. 
God, I want a heart like that. Now, let's do it with music. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids! I'm Sophia for Art and Craft. In our Bible story this week, we have learned to honor our parents. So, we're going to make a cut child cube. They're mass of our stories. If you're ready, let's get started. For the materials, we need cardboard, ruler, pencil, coloring pens or pencils, glue, and scissors. First, draw four squares of two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Then draw two squares of two and a half inches by two and a half inches on both sides of the upper second square. Obey, honor, take care, and help our parents. You may also color and decorate the squares. Now glue the ears to form our cube. This is our good child cube. Well done, yippee! There you have it, our bet on adding cup, Ricky! May I come? Let's all be good and on our parents. And remember, Jesus is the best. Till next time, bye! Hi kids, this is Fastara Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Proverbs 6, verse 20. Repeat after me, say Proverbs 6, verse 20. Very good, and the song goes something like this.
very good kids did you enjoy that song i did too well that's it for a memory verse song today this is pastora armira see you again next time hi kids welcome back and i hope you learned a lot from our episode today so right now it's our prayer time do you still remember our three prayer requests yes first we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike that God will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families that God will always keep them safe and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, as for us, you know, our prayer requests for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and that you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Let's have our prayer magnets, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Father, right now we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. We also pray, Lord, for our families, that you will always keep them safe, that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now I pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, that they will always be productive in everything that they will be doing, that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it, kids, for Everyday Jesus today. We'll see you again next time.